Greetings, Doombots. Tony Scongili here with part two of the raid review series. Uh, we'll be talking about the beta raid here. Now, just to get right into it without a really long recap, this is the beta raid. This is specifically the beta four raid. Obviously, any raid earlier than beta four is going to be relatively easy for you to accomplish. And the rules I've set forth in this review is going to work, obviously, backwards. So looking at a quick view of the beta raid, which you'll see is that most of the nodes are specific to origins. Origin being mystic, skill, tech, bio, and mutant. With the exception of the boss nodes having the Sinister Six tag, this originally had a different tag, and it most likely will have a different tag one day. So for the sake of this, I'm not truly considering Sinister Six characters as key components. However, if there is a Sinister Six character, that is good in other aspects, for example, a tech node or a bio node, I will then look at them and give them that uh, assessment. So starting from this, it's a little bit different because you don't necessarily want to build a full tech team or a full bio team. You want to make the best of both worlds. And when we take a quick look at the teams I've built, you'll start to understand why that's relevant. So quick idea. This is basically just a, a snapshot of the characters that are the absolute best among their class. Now, this isn't a complete list of usable characters. These are just the characters that I found to be overperforming uh, in the raids, especially when combined with pretty much any other team. We'll start with Bio because Alphabet, and you can see that Bio actually has two. There are quite a bit of high impact Bio characters. Uh, Black Bolt, clearly one of them, uh, Captain Marvel, Invisible Woman, Groot, and Mantis. Uh, as their bio tags, as far as raid characters go, they do exactly what you want. Black Bolt and Captain Marvel being uh, very high impact damage dealers, AOE damage dealers, and Captain Marvel having self-sustain, uh, Mantis and Groot having a lot of survivability mechanics, and Invisible Woman being one of the better protectors in the game as far as survivability to an entire team. As for the Bio All-Stars 2, a quick check will reveal Yo-Yo, one of the other phenomenal protectors in the game, Symbiote Spider-Man, a new release, uh, Ms. Marvel, JJ, and Drax. Uh, so these are just kind of the top 10 Bio characters that you can kind of look through your roster and say, you know, this would be a pretty good series of characters. And they all stand to reason that uh, you can either build them with a team or you can use them individually. For example, Symbiote Spider-Man, you can use him on the Spider-Verse team. They're pretty much all bio. Or you can use him as a solo character that kind of sustains himself in the same way of characters like Sabretooth and Captain Marvel. So that's the best bio characters I've found to use. Uh, moving on to Mystic. Uh, Mystic has pretty solid five characters that I've found to be pretty great in combination with all of the things, as you can quickly check, Mystic tends to be tagged with, whether it be skill up here, uh, mutant, and bio, or tech. Uh, these are the characters that I've found to be uh, overall the best. Now, it's going to seem a little crazy, but surprise, Thanos works really well with some of the tech characters in the game, like Rocket and Minerva. So, Thanos makes the, uh, makes the list. Uh, Hela... Uh, just a phenomenal character overall, but you can really either build around her, and again, she does have self-sustain. If she's the only Asgardian on your team, every time Greg goes bye-bye, she's going to heal herself. Ronin showed up again. Very good at a lot of weird things that you don't really think about in Raid until you use him. Ability blocking on multiple targets, buff, uh, debuff dispelling, as well as uh, targeted removal for buffs. Pretty all-around solid character. Black Panther tends to be a little bit of a flex. Uh, it basically depends on how much you've invested in him. But there are some nodes, especially a node with summoners, where you can really go crazy with Black Panther. Uh, and if you tag her on a Mystic Bio node with, we'll say, Ms. Marvel, for example, you're kind of starting to, to pile up the extra damage. And Juggernaut, he is a Mystic. People tend to forget about that. And he's a phenomenal tank, on his own, without Magneto, no matter what anyone says. So, these are some of the better Mystic characters going on to Mutant. Um, there's still not enough Mutants to make too much of a difference, let alone enough sustaining Mutants. I'm not really considering Toad right now. I personally don't know a lot of people uh, who have Toad. 
well, no one had Toad during the last beta. So including him in that conversation is kind of not going to be too helpful uh, just right now. And a lot of the feedback is why worry about using Toad when I've already been able to accomplish it. So maybe in the future, uh, Toad will be included in this. But in general, Sinister, uh, Colossus, Phenomenal Tank, Sabretooth, uh, self-sustaining damage dealer, pretty good. S uh, Storm, but mostly because Storm is kind of a raid cheat code if you can protect her and charge her up. And Phoenix, again, while she's phenomenal, she's only phenomenal once unless you plan on spending raid heals to heal her. So I will include her because she's phenomenal, but I don't want you to think that that means, you know, She's the absolute best option. She might be for you until you can bring up other teams or other characters, but I would use her with caution or on very specific nodes to help you progress a little bit further. And moving to skill. Uh, skill characters, surprise, uh, it is the Fury Shield team again. That is yet another raid where Fury Shield has proven that they are absolutely phenomenal uh, in the Arwain. So anytime you see a skill node, you can just use the entire Fury Shield, but in case you don't want to, or in case they've died and you don't really want to spend heals for some reason because of bad RNG or because they're a very slow team, uh, you can use characters like Killmonger and Merc Riot Guard. They are overall phenomenal characters that do a great job of keeping their own responsibility. Merc Riot Guard uh, gives everyone defense up and sustains through a lot of hits. Killmonger uh, heals himself every time he does damage and does a pretty decent amount of damage, especially if you've invested in him. So all in all, when it comes to skill, it's still Fury Shield, but there are some other options. And last but not least, we have tech. I don't think I have to go into any detail about this. Uh, Star Wars is phenomenal. Minerva's phenomenal. Ultron is phenomenal. Shuri's phenomenal. Scientist Supreme, recently phenomenal. So. These are just examples of pretty solid overall tech characters that you can splash around on any team that says tech and not really worry. You can use Star Wars and Shuri to power up a whole bunch of defense ups, energies, and heals. Or you can use Star Wars and Minerva to make sure you constantly have a res, depending on what the, the node happens to say. Really quickly, just take a quick look. Mystic tech, skill tech you should be able to come up with a pretty decent combination of these characters and have no problem. And I went ahead and made a couple of sample teams. I'm not, I wasn't going to do one for everything, uh, but as long as you kind of see where I'm going with it, hopefully you'll get the gist of it and be able to build teams for yourself. Uh, a sample bio mutant team based on what we have here is a protector in yo-yo, a pretty big damage dealer, a second moderately big damage dealer that happens to work very well with Mr. Sinister, and a single target healer. Well, single target healer with some pretty decent raid level AOE heals. Uh, this is two healers, this is two damage dealers, and a pretty decent CC protector where she's constantly putting offense down on players. So this is a sample of a bunch of the characters you would kind of cherry pick to make a team for the bio mutant team. There are plenty of others. Feel free to comment below with what team you're using if you're on that lane. The same will go to the skill mystic team. Uh, for this team, you can again just use the entire fury shield or you can get a little clever if you maybe didn't work too much on them or you're a newer player, uh, not early player, but newer and you just didn't prioritize Nick Fury because he's not that impressive anymore. Then you might have Hela and Thor. Therefore, you can kind of run those out, keeping one intentional healer, one summoner to just kind of even the odds out, and then a Merc Riot Guard, you know, just to make sure you have a real tank on the team. Uh, Hela and Thor will be doing all the damage. The other two characters will just kind of be sitting there spreading buffs and CCing. And the last team right here, Sample Mystic Tech Team. Surprise, it's the BKT. See what I'm saying? So some of these fights kind of go hand in hand. Uh, it's pretty easy to build teams, but now you're starting to see what I had said in the previous video, the idea that some of the characters from the previous uh, alpha raid have a lot of overlap with this. Another one of those examples is Star Wars or the entire BKT team. The BKT team from the alpha, if you were to take the Guardians or in some form, you're pretty set for a mystic tech team, uh, with the exception of obviously one character. But if you looked at the skill, 
you saw the shield was a pretty good global option. Well, they're also pretty good on any lane that has skill in this, and a couple of the characters could definitely be used to carry up. So this is where you want to start taking quick looks between these two, getting an idea as to, well, what's the best option? What's the least number of characters I can work on to be able to handle multiple different lanes or multiple uh, raids, like a lane in different raids. Because if you're in an alliance that assigns lanes, which I would recommend you be in at any given time, I would say it should be okay for you to say, hey, I'm really good at city characters, which means I probably have a pretty decent bio roster. So maybe you want to put me on lanes that have bio and tech or bio and mystic based on what you've invested in and that should kind of uh, uh line up everything with your roster uh anyway like i said these videos are going to be quick feel free to comment below with what teams you use in beta if you use any of the teams i've said here if you use any of the characters i've said here and look forward to the third video which is about the gamma raid which is a complete nightmare and it's where you start seeing characters that were pretty useful in the previous two raids be non-existent as they do not have affiliation tags. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and I'll catch you later.